Um, so we found the one brand that we're comfortable with that had already been approved by the county to remove uh, with, with that uh, ordinance that they did. That was a hard rock, and we're going to be a hard rock um, at the Desert Inn moving forward. And one of the things that impressed Hard Rock about the site when they walked through it was everything we want is already here. You have the ballroom, you have immense public spaces we want. You already have a spa, because they have a very specific rock spa that's part of their, their resort experience. Um, you have a retail spot for a rock, uh, rock shop for memorabilia. So, you know, it, it's as if we, we couldn't have ordered something more perfect for us. We've got an immense asset here, um, a beautiful beach, and, and, and an affordable place for people to go, for families to go, and we really need to work on, on capitalizing on that. Part of it is entrepreneurs like me coming in, buying older hotels and turning it around. Uh, part of it is people like government authorities having faith in us, like the county did, um, to stick their neck out and take a chance on us. We have a lot of people want to use our convention center and the hotels are issues have been a big issue, getting enough hotel rooms of high quality. And uh, it'll clearly make you a bigger draw for convention. And he's promised me that he would put some uh, uh, hard rock memorabilia from Florida Georgia Line in there. <laughs> this will be so exciting and, it, and uh, that it will drive tourism to a different level never seen.